Ian, the highlight to me, and I think to you, of the Nintendo Direct was a game coming out called Clubhouse 51 Games. I I think this is a very interesting game for a lot of reasons, but I don't know that it's a highlight. I already explained to you that the prior one on the DS was kind of like a weird shovelware title. So I'm very I'm very I, I have to I have a I have a let's wait and see approach to this. You know, let's wait and see to this. Okay, so what is what was Clubhouse Games 51 on the DS real quick? Ian? Um it was a collection Clubhouse Games is a series. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Clubhouse Games, that it's a collection of games, usually card games or board games, um, that um, you can play on the go. Uh, it's kind of like a Hoyle's Book of Card Games. Um, anyone who's ever seen those. Not just card games, though. No, I know, but I'm saying that's kind of what it is. It, so it, the, this came out, it was 40... But you can play it. It came out in 2005, the, the original, it looks like. And it was called, in Europe, 42 All-Time Classics. And include card games board games, variety games, some action games, and a few single-player games. So, um, when I first saw this announced, the first thing I said was, when I saw this 51 Worldwide Classics, I'm like, I'm intrigued because it's 51 games, it's a chunk of, like, you know, all-time classic board games, Checkers, uh, Othello, which is, the, you know, the commercial name. Uh, you get, y- you know, Yacht Reversi Dice. would be the non-commercial name. You get name. Yacht Dice, which is Yahtzee. You, uh, you you get um, you know uh, solitaire. You get Texas Hold'em. Um, you, you get, get a chess. word game. You, you get a generic word game. Yeah. So, and it's worldwide. So there's a lot of stuff here I never even heard of. There's a few mahjong games that you might be familiar with. Um, there's that one game with the stones you pick up and move it. There's Ch- there's, there's Chinese checkers, which I actually play, used to play as a, as a kid with my great aunt. So on the surface, I'm like, this is interesting here. Hmm, let's see more. But then. I was intrigued because there was a lot of games that w- weren't aren't board games or, you know, dice games or, you know what I mean? So, hell, I'm going to run through all There's of them. There's an air hockey. Well, I'm going to run through all of them real quick. Okay. I mean, I mean we'll, we'll get through them fairly quickly here. Um, and what's cool about this, these games, is that it's couch co-op, local multiplayer, two players, for example, uh, you know, on Reversi or Othello, whatever they call it, can just use, you're using your Switch as the board, but there's also going to be games where you can just use the Joy-Con. Yeah. Um, so there's, a lot, there's a lot of family fun in the living room to be had in a package like this. You can uh, lay it on the table and like... Backgammon, which... Use I, it as a board. I love Which I game. never learned how to play for some stupid reason. Backgammon's so much fun. I should have learned how to play that. I just should have. Um, okay, so let's... I'm going to just run through all of them. Fuck it. Uh, we'll get through these fairly quick. We're not going to stop on a lot of them. Okay, so... God, damn, I can't stop because I can't see what they're called here when I go through it. Uh, here. How do I make this bigger so that I can see that? Uh, Mancala is the stone one you told me about. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're dropping stones from one part. And the other. I guess it's like almost like a probably like a, like a, like a cousin of backgammon for what it we looks like. We have 51 games to We're get getting through. We're getting through them. Okay. Uh, Hanafuda, which I'm not familiar Cards. with. It's a, I know it's a card game. Uh, backgammon. You're a backgammon fan. I never got it, but it's interesting and it would be cool to like you know f- to put the finger on the little the little little checker pieces and move them around there. Um, Renegade. That's their name for reversi. Is Renegade here? Okay. And you're a big fan of that. Uh, checkers. I like checkers. I don't like it as much as chess. President. Never heard of that as a card game before. It was hard. These are all like one second blips. It's hard to figure out what that is. Seeing it. Dominoes. I like dominoes. I always forget how to play until I play it again. Are you a dominoes fan? Yes, I love bones. Uh, love some bones. Speed, which I never played. It almost re- resembles something like spit I used to play speed as a kid. Speed is fun. Uh, Hare and Hounds, that's a board game I never heard of. I'm guessing that's from uh, Europe. Old-timey, I'm sure. It's old-timey. I'm uh, sure. Good old Blackjack, and it shows four players here that you're, you know, so we can yell at you when you hit when you shouldn't or, or stand when you shouldn't with the dealer. So that's good. I love Blackjack. Four in a row, which is Connect Four. It's the generic name. I love Connect Four. I had it as a kid. Uh, chess. I'll, I'll, okay. This very important when you talk about chess. You have to talk about the board design if it's easy for you to grasp and to see the pieces. This board design, and maybe there's more than one you can do, is a very nice board uh, chess board set in that it's like a classic wood, but the pieces, white and black, are easy to differentiate right away what the pieces are. There's a lot of games you play sometimes, chess games, video games, where it's hard to see at a quick glance what's the bishop versus what's the queen, for example. You know, this has, they have gold trimming so you can easily identify what piece is which. I love that. It's just a nice little touch that to me is going to be nice. And now I can kick your ass maybe uh, uh, playing chess on on the Switch. There you go. Uh, Shogi, not familiar with it. 
Shogi is what is oftentimes more or less wrongly referred to as Japanese chess, but it's close. It's close like that. Uh, there's a mini Shogi. Uh, Ludo, which went by in a split second, so I couldn't see it. Richi Mahjong. It's a Mahjong game. So that's that's the interesting thing about that is... Um, <clears throat> so that's your standard Japanese Mahjong. That's the Mahjong that I always talk about. Okay. And um, they even show in the video... Um, four people can actually use their... You can use four switches and four people to play that properly so that each person has their own rack. And then it still shows their discards and stuff at the top. It's okay. a nice way to do it. Uh, seven's not familiar. If that's like some sort of game like spades, I'm not familiar. Uh, golf. I, okay. Golf is cute because it's a little toy golf game where you're like swinging your club and you try to get you know you try to get the hole there it, it's like almost like nes golf to me looking at it. it's that sort of simple overhead view uh there darts okay now we're getting interesting because now we're getting away from board games and now we're getting the stuff where you'll probably likely use the joy con to simulate the movement uh, and throwing the darts now we're getting to me now we're opening this up a bit more texas hold'em this is going to be great to play this uh against people either local or local will be kind of tough unless you have your own Switch, but online, I can see this being good. Um, and obviously, there's probably a Texas Hold'em game on the Switch, but again, this this pack's going to help bring it to life because more people will buy this. And Texas Hold'em is a game that's it's it, it can go fairly quick in, in rounds. Um, I think it'll be a good one uh, to play here. Uh, nine, n nine Men's Morris, I've never heard of that in my life. It's a little marble-looking game. Air Hockey, you mentioned that. So you'll use your finger on the, on the Switch uh, mm -hmm. to just go back and forth it's just a simple little game that could be fun uh war the simple game of war yeah that probably doesn't need to be in there uh, if you can do poker you can do war uh carom which looked like a like a table hockey sort of thing carom is uh but without the hockey stick remember, remember, remember sh uh, shuffle hockey whatever it was they used to always sell carom boards and uh fucking uh, brand names around Christmas. It's like a. I think you actually use a Q too to move like a puck around. That to me looks like the game they would set up when they had like the, the summer park sort of day day club thing. Sure, it's a game like that. Uh, Chinese checkers. I love Chinese checkers. Yacht dice. Yacht dice is cool uh, be, because it's it, it's Yahtzee. So that that's good. You have your little shaker, which I'm guessing you shake your maybe you shake your Joy-Con and you and you toss the dice. I wonder what that's going to remind me of. We'll get to it later. Uh, Takayaki, not familiar uh, with that. No, card Takayaki game. is uh, octopus dumplings, so I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be there. Good old billiards here. Mm. If you want to get your billiards fixed and want to play pool, there you have it. I can picture that using the Joy-Con as well to sort of go back and forth, like 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 we play, which we're gonna get into. Some of these games resemble stuff on we play. Um, a hex, which I'm not familiar with at all. Um, looks like a match game. Spider Solitaire, which looks like traditional Solitaire to me. Spider Solitaire is very different. Is it really different? Yeah, Spider Solitaire usually uses two decks, too. Uses two decks. Well, mm -hmm. usually in Solitaire, you can pick one deck, or I think, was it five? Is it five? No, no, it's one deck. I'm thinking Blackjack. One deck, two... Okay. As a person who plays a lot of shitty Solitaire games with actual cards on my own, trust me, Spider is very different than so Klondike. Oh, you're right. There's two aces with um with with, with spades there. It's very different. So you have to. So it's <clears throat> Klondike is traditional solitaire. Okay. Uh, Gomaku, which looks like a fellow on the service, but probably different rules. There. Uh, matching. It's just like a, a match game, like w memory game. Yay. For that's for the kids. Bowling. When I see that now, I get a little more excited because now this is the closest thing we're going to have to Wii bowling on the switch. Mm, yeah. I think you are putting way way too much. You think? No? Yes. You're putting way too much faith on this bowling. I, I would imagine it's going to be a very simple endeavor. I, We'll see. But no, I don't think we're going to well, get... Well, bowling like, is a simple endeavor. I, yeah, though. I don't think we're going to get Wii bowling. No. You don't think it's just going to... Like, you're going to have 10 frames you play with, with, with yourself or, or friends, right? I'll be surprised if it plays anything like Wii bowling. That's the, all I'm saying. The Joy-Con can't simulate what a Wiimote does? I'm not saying it can't. I'm saying that they, they, they're they probably not going to put that effort into it. Whoops. You're kicking and getting mad. Okay. Uh, shooting Gallery looks like the Wii Play one. Like, it almost it resembles it a lot uh, with, with the crosshairs and the balloons. Um, slot Cars. Looks like you make your own set and you race them around. <laughs> All okay. Right. Uh, dots and Boxes is a little drawing game. Uh, strategy game, it looks like. Hit and Blow. I'm not familiar with that. It looks like it's up to eight players. 
there. It looks it's like a multicolored marble game. Pig's Tail, uh, which is a card game I never heard of. Mahjong Solitaire. You ever play Mahjong Solitaire? Uh, no, that's what people always... Well, uh, here and there, but I don't really play that. That's what I, people always get Mahjong confused with. Last Card, which is a card game. Looks like it's using its own card set. It looks like Uno, actually. Is that Uno? It's Uno! I'm looking at it. It's two, three, four. Yeah, it looks like an Uno knockoff. There, there you go. Um, fishing, Ian. There's a fishing game. Yeah. A simple little fishing game. There you go. Uh, Klondike Solitaire. There's the other Solitaire. Toy Tennis which looks like a board tennis game where they do a toy slots. tennis there's a toy baseball a toy curling and a toy boxing toy soccer as well now i'm upset that there's a toy soccer if you can do toy soccer you can do toy hockey you can do a tabletop because it's the same concept as a soccer one where you move your players in the slots and you twist them around uh there so do, do the hockey toy curling looks interesting uh to me toy boxing looks like um Depending on how it plays, that's it looks, looks like trash. It's 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 rock'em sock'em robots. Well, that's that's what almost what what you know we boxing was. It was like just go like that and hit the guy with a little bit of strategy thrown in. Toy baseball looks fun because it resembles the. the I like I like kid. that stuff. Yeah. Or you just you know it's like the closest thing to eating you'll have a pitching pinball bat. Is pitching bat, and you get outs or points where you go. It's just, it's almost the same thing. It's the same thing as when you had the ones as a kid in the little little spring action, uh, almost there. Um, toy ba battle tanks. Which is a tank game overhead with 3 d dish, and you, you shoot at the other tanks. Yeah. There's also a, a multiplayer one. I think that'll be the one that you get the most use out of if you play with friends. Uh, sliding puzzle, which is just a, a slide puzzle game. I always hate those games. Um, six ball uh, puzzle, which is a match game. like I guess like a match six, I guess. Um, and then finally, you get... And that's the 51. So that's it. So on the surface... What this comes to you? <laughs> we one? did not need to go through all of those. <laughs> well, we did. So this is what I'm going to say. The fact that Nintendo is pushing this on a direct, this got all, this got really good feedback online, from what I saw. Um, I love the fact that that there's going to be one game where, or one game or one title where you can access all these games. And from how it looks, when you go to try to match, you pick three games to match with someone. So I can go, hey, Ian. Three games we put, or or you know, let's let's do Texas Hold'em. Let's do the, the the pitching game, the pitching batting game, and let's do mahjong. We can throw in three totally different games. You try to match the people, and then you play them. I like that concept. And then you can bounce back and forth. Yeah, that's neat. Otherwise, it would be very very difficult, I think, to find yeah. people to play very specific games with. There are going to be some on there that provided the sales and comes out and it comes out, you know, and it, it reviews well. Um, there are certain games that I think are going to be naturally more played online. Um, Reversi. Chess, Texas hold them. Texas hold them. Checkers. Um, Depending on how good the bowling is, we'll see. Even Moncala, <laughs> probably, and maybe the Ricci Mahjong. Um, but a lot of those, you know, are going to be harder. I, I don't know that you're going to find a lot of people to play hounds and hares with. That's a little. Some of these games are very esoteric, but I like that they include them because why not? They probably, if they had them in a past game, just put them in. And who knows? We might see toy boxing at Evo next year, but. Uh, I, I I don't think that that one's going to have a big scene. I'm excited for some of the little toy ones. I I think I, I think I'm giving. No, more... they're, they're they're fun. I mean, but yeah, you're not going to play this, a long this, time with someone. This yeah. whole package looks good. It looks entertaining, provided it comes out and everything is done well. It looks fun. I just don't. And and I know where you're going with this, but it, it I I have a different take on it. Um, I don't know. This is not like a mind blowing thing. No, no, it's not a mind blowing thing at it's, all. At all. I'm just. This is the closest thing, though. We are going to get to the like the, the we like I said like the we play sure and we sports package having like something a collection of stuff you can play and a lot of people. Uh, played those games simply and never even moved on to some of the other games. Sure. Like this was good enough for me. Yes. Like like if I was in a certain demographic, this might be good enough to satisfy me. Yeah. Or an older relative. We just hey let's, let's play let's play dominoes pops. Let's, right. let's play this. And you know if you the addition of some simple actiony or like non card or board stuff. The addition of stuff like bowling. Uh, tanks, I guess. Yes. Uh, the puzzle like, game. Like I said, that's when it becomes more we play. When you see the tank stuff, when you see the shooting gallery, when you see the the darts, which when you see the billiards was on the we play. So when you see that stuff, that's just we play. It's stuff. got board and card games. It also has some of the stuff that you might find like 
some of the more arcadey action stuff that you might find on one of those bar like touch screen sure. games. I'm surprised that there wasn't like a simple breakout on here or uh, like a, a Tri Peaks like speed solitaire. I mean, I'll be honest. I mean, you're going to get on me. I played We Play a lot in the Wii if I had people over. We played the tanks game um, or, or we played the shooting gallery. It was just fun to get into it. Why am I, played- I getting on you? No, because it wasn't new enough, I guess, for, for back then. No, because, you know, uh, because you're, 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 you're grasping. I liked Wii Play, but don't grasp for Wii Play. Like, this is evidence no. of you being a fucking I'm a modern I, gamer. I liked Wii Play when it came sure, out. Sure, it's fun. It was fun. I, I like the dog. Yes, mode. I am going to get on you if you decide that this is going to be an example of you staying up to date with current fucking gaming, Pat. Holy shit. Okay. This is, this is what God I damn. So, okay. Um, so you, you select up to three games you play, you match with people, and there you go. Um, I think this is going to sell better than you think. It's forty dollars, so it's like eighty cents a game. Even if I play, I think I'm, I probably only play probably between ten and twenty games on here. The other half of them I don't know what they are, so it'd be tough to get into. But again, we're not the only audience. I think it's a shame that this was not a, a and you can play it right now sort of thing on okay. the uh, on the. Um, mini direct i have a feeling people watching this during in, in this current situation would bet it were probably like this is this out right, right now. now i will buy it i will buy it right now i would have bought it right that second if it was available as a digital purchase um or i would have ordered it you know for, from amazon or something uh that said i you know a lot of my excitement immediately cools off when it's like hey, it comes out in june You'll see where you are in June. Uh, we'll see where I'm at in June. I have lots of actual board and card games and stuff like that. But it is nice. I mean, for travel, it would be cool. This would be really good. Um, a, 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 a situation where I could see this being perfect. And it really um, leans into this portability factor of the Switch that makes it nice is uh, car trips. Imagine, imagine going on a car trip with your parents and like your sister or in my case my brother and having something like this to keep you busy like in the three ba- hours in the back seat for three hours it, it's fucking perfect because you don't even need two switches a lot of these games no. you just play as basically your switch becomes you plop it down on the borderline between your area this on the my, back seat my, this is my and, seat and, that's yours and her seat and you it, play it, and then you play it would be perfect or if one has a switch light or you both have a switch light you can play as well you can play mm-hmm. some stuff on it uh, I'm, I'm excited I'm gonna buy this I'll buy this in the physical version if there's a physical one uh, I'll probably pick it up uh, there. We can we can get into it. Uh, the one thing it didn't have, Ian, was, was a good old cornhole. It was didn't have the cornhole. You're almost there with the darts. You got the movement going, and I guess the bowling. There's some games you probably use the movement of the Joy-Con. There's no, there's no cornhole out here. Uh, and one other thing, it, once you get to 51 games, you have a ton of stuff you can do. I was thinking, you know, you, you can probably probably get away if you have like a you know uh, the generic yahtzee there's a generic uno which i didn't catch the first time around you can probably even just put it in generic like even like a battleship i don't think i think you're allowed to do your own generic battleship i don't think that's like a like a concept that oh i've seen do. generic battleship yeah. in a lot of things i mean fuck nintendo released a generic battleship and called it radar mission i think that was the only thing it's like put that's it in a, on uh, the original game boy th- that was one thing i would say it's like a little bit more complexity of the board games, but they wanted to go like worldwide classic. Like these are games around for like hundreds of years. Yeah. I understand that they didn't want to do shoots and ladders or something like more complicated like life. But I thought like ba- well, shoots ba- and ladders is a fucking trash game that has absolutely no skill. Literally, all you do is spin the- a spinner until someone wins. I didn't have the the only that's uh, it. I had snakes and ladders, which was the Christian version. That ha- we got it like the little shop. It was like a little mini. Remember the little magnetic little. Board oh yeah, I had that too. I it, had one of those. It was called Snakes and Ladders because it's it's like it kind of did a little Christian twist by having the snakes as like the serpent. But the the board setup was exactly the same as Shoots and Ladders. You had like the one long one from like the second row. If you got that, you basically won the game. Mine did you know, not like, have a Jesusy sheen, but mine it had was a, mine it was... had a Jesusy magnetic sheen to it on there. Mine was just a magnetic Snakes and Ladders. Shoots and Ladders is the trade name, I think. Yeah, that, yeah, that's that's a trademark name. Yeah, but snakes and ladders are there. So all I'm going to say is this: is that there? I, I, once again, the switch exists for local multiplayer, for couch, and for family fun, for travel, for, and for travel too, and for travel, and for online play. So it's a combination. So anyway, so I, I think it's going to be interesting here uh, once this comes out. Here, any last thoughts on this? No. Okay. 